Howdy, partners, and welcome back to the... I can't. We live on an island surrounded by water. I can't, I, I, I can't be a cowboy. If you try hard enough, That's true. you I guess can you do be a there. cowboy. <laughs> Howdy, partners, and welcome back to the Outlaws of Thunder Junction pre-launch showcase brought to you by us here at Loading Ready Run. And, uh, of course, Wizards of the Coast sent us the cards, but this is sponsored by Yoomst over at our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. We really appreciate all your support. You're the reason we're able to do this stuff, and we, we super appreciate it. Uh, I'm Ben. We got a wheeler. Thank you for hoving me. It's great to ye here. <laughs> and Kathleen. <laughs> Hello. There you go. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> straight, straight to stick. And, of course, we got Paula on tech. Hello. Uh, and we're really, really excited to have you here. We're doing something so different uh, this time. We're showing just a plethora of various formats uh, with regards to Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Uh, just kind of really, you know, mixing it up, making it a make, making it a fun time for everybody. Uh, we've already showcased sealed, and uh, now we're into the draft portion of our showcase, which is really really exciting. We had an awesome draft that uh, we can now show you because we recorded it with a fancy little video. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna throw you to that, and then when we come back, we're gonna see these two rumble. So take it away. Ye and ha. It's time to draft. Graham here with our drafters for the day. We have Ben. Good day. Kathleen. Yeehaw. Cameron. I'm your blueberry. Adam. I'm your raspberry. And Wheeler. I'm your pineapple. We're gonna have a grapefruit salad later. This sounds, <laughs> this sounds delicious. Don't tell Wheeler, but I really hate cowboys. At time of recording, previews haven't even started, so just so you know, we're going to have a reader. Uh, a lot of us, like, we, we do not know what these cards are, so I can't wait to find out. Now, do we want to do the traditional reading of the draft archetypes? Please. Yes. Please. Yeah. All right. White, blue, take a break. <laughs> Sorry. <Steel. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Later. Keep your guard up. Use the plot mechanic and cards with flash to pass your turn with mana available. Ooh. Mm. Blue, black, crimes. <gasps> Keep targeting your opponent and their stuff turn after turn. You're looking to play a long game, but your consistent heists will leave the opponents less than prepared. Black Red Outlaws. Assemble a crew of assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, and warlocks. This motley crew of outlaws will find a way to work together to wear down your opponents. Red, green, power four plus. Big. Big. Yeah. Big. 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 Dibs. Big. The usual stuff. Yeah. Green, white, mount. There's a whole stable of mounts eager to charge into battle. Every time a mount attacks backed by some skilled riders, you'll reap more rewards. Saddle up. Saddle up. Saddle up. Me reaping. Me saddling. Me saddling. <laughs> White black attrition. Your permanents are here for a good time, not a long time. Sacrifice shamelessly, block fearlessly, attack aggressively. All right. Blue red second spell. Sling your spells in one, two bursts. Low mana value cards and plotted cards enable combination of two or more spells in a turn, unlocking a flurry of bonuses. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I'm just hearing all these and I'm just like, these are just the guilds, but you gave them a different name. <laughs> Let me guess, hold on. Green black is gonna be something involving the graveyard. Uh, the name of this archetype is creatures in the graveyard. Great. <laughs> I don't We're think I need Look, there's a lot of Ravnikans in Thunder Junction. <laughs> it's true. Rakdos is here for some First of reason. First it's not foretold, it's plot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I need to explain green black anymore. Red, white, mercenary aggro. <laughs> and uh, green, blue, play it for the plot. It just has plot. I said play it for the plot. Set your mastermind plans into motion with the plot mechanic. Your opponents may see them coming, but that doesn't mean you'll be able to stop them. Control the battlefield and strike when the time is right cards. Okay, let's hand out these play boosters. Now, a reminder, these feature the list with special guests and cards from Breaking News and The Big Score. There are three ancillary things of cards in these boosters, potentially. Cool. All right, let's go. Creature type varmint? Oh. Folks, creature type varmint. Creature type Everybody varmint. Everybody stop. Everyone shut up. <laughs> Giant beaver. Beg your pardon? It's a beaver mount. 
There's a turtle rogue. Holy cow. I opened two green mythics. <laughs> Sweet. No, because that means the person next to me is going to take the other green mythic, and now we're fighting for green for the rest of the match. I opened two green mythics. One is this giant, like, 6-6 six, six dinosaur that whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield, I gain 3 life and draw a card, and if it dies, it comes back again as a token. And then the other one is just this, like, really sick rhino that gives things plus 1, plus 1 counters, and you can plot it out. I think the rhinos might be better, but I did not come to this draft to play it safe, so I take the mono green mythic seven drop. There's an Izumi in my pack. Then I also opened two mythics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know which one to take. They're both. Oh, I know which one I'm taking. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. So I open up pack one, and I have two mythic rares, one happening to be Gisa. Uh, it's a five mana four four that has ward two, but also pay two life. And whenever you commit a crime, you make two 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 zombies. Yeah, I took that. There's no way I don't take this. Pack one, pick one is something called Oko the Ringleader. It's Oko. I guess I know what I'm doing. We're doing crimes. We're in green blue crimes. Pack one, pick one. I get Magda the Horde Master. I like committing crime, I like getting treasure, and I like making dragons. So I pick the red rare. All right. My pack one has a rare. I have a single rare, and you know what? I don't know anything different. I'm just going to take it. It's Fortune Loyal Steed. He saddles for one, and then he and whatever saddles it blinks. That seems good if I can get an enter the battlefield effect. Graham, I'm going to pass you a card. You're going to look at, at how great it is, and you're going to wonder, what could I have picked? I cannot wait to find <laughs> out. I'm in a similar situation. There's a card that I know what it does, because it's from one of those special sets I mentioned, and there's a card that I'm just reading now, and they both seem great. It's pack one, pick one, and I'm already looking at two rares. I've opened Abrupt Decay from the Breaking News subset, and Free Strider Lookout which is a centaur courser with tremendous upside. And I hem and haw about this for a while, but realize that I should probably just start with one color to begin with, so I take the mono green card. It's got reach, and whenever you commit a crime, you look at the top five cards of your library, and you can put a land into play tapped, and then the rest of the cards in the bottom of your library. Only once per turn, but th these crimes can ramp you. I do love targeting opponents anything they control and or cards in their graveyard is a crime. Is that, is that how it's worded? <laughs> yeah. Targeting an opponent's anything they control? <laughs> Targeting opponent's, or anything in their comma, yeah. anything they oh, control. Oh, okay. Uh, no, my anything I control. Yeah. I control those. I just like the last part. That's a crime. Wrath of God, not yeah. a crime. Not a crime. Not a crime. Yeah. Hey, 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 we had an entire heresy about that. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Dance of the Tumbleweeds. Ben was not quiet about opening two green mythics, so I knew that I'd probably be getting at least one green mythic, and I did, and it's a massive rhino and an even bigger problem. It's got reach, it's got trample, you can cast it cheaper with plot, and it gives counters to other creatures that you cast. It seems preposterous. It is just a much better skits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I like that. It See, this is where you and I are divided. Yeah. I don't like it when it goes to the top of the library. Oh, it goes on top. Never mind. Yeah, I yeah, wanted, never I wanted mind. them. I misread it. You know, yeah. never, I'm out, partner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, we're gonna awesome. get a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out, partner. <laughs> White, black, <laughs> blue, red. <laughs> Wheeler's passed me a Baron Bertram Greywater, which is a black white uncommon. It's a three four, and whenever you create a token, you create a one one token with lifelink. So, you know, <laughs> sure. I made a choice when I heard the archetypes. I'm going to stick to it. it. Might be terrible, but I'm a man of conviction. I appreciate you st st sticking to your guns. Yeah. yeah. I, I could have said that more saying, I'm a man of conviction. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard the draft archetypes. And I ain't looking back. <laughs> I said blue, no can do. <laughs> the grass is green, and so is my draft deck. <laughs> so I'm looking for green things, and probably red things, because I want to play the big girl smash deck. And along comes this armadillo that is new 
Crocin Tusker? I get to discard it and go grab a land and it gains three life. And if I decide to play it, it's like a six, six, four, two, trampoly, reachy friend. Uh, so I take that. Yeah, there's a lot of good green in this pack and um, I can tell that it's gonna be contested over at this side of the table. When you sit beside Ben and Graham, <laughs> we, we, we have a certain way of playing. There's so many green cards in this pack and they all look good, but I also have two people talking about how excited they are at their green mythics. So there's a very strong chance green is not going to be open this draft, but I did get it form a posse and it's red white. I'm already kind of in white because I've taken a couple of white cards and it's just make a bunch of tiny mercenaries. That seems good. I get past an abrupt decay quite early. And if there's one thing that black does well, it's target things. So I decide that I can probably splash black fairly easily because I'm seeing a lot of like common mana fixing. I'm seeing a lot of X ones, brother. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of X ones. Why did you send cards back to me just now? That was a test. Well, yeah. You yeah. passed. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, you passed to the wrong person. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to commit a crime targeting you. <laughs> I'm going to set your car on fire. <laughs> I am getting so derailed this draft, by which I mean I'm picking multiple copies of Explosive Derailment, a removal spell that I'm going to use to commit crimes. This card is a plant rogue. <laughs> is it a plant, like... It's been planted? Like it's a plant rogue? <laughs> plant rogue. Or is it like a plant? That rogue's a plant. <laughs> yeah, it's rogues. Like they're an actor. Yeah, I don't believe this at all. They made a plant get a job? Yeah. If you had a sentient cactus, how many fingers would you give it? If I had a sentient cactus. Yeah, one. Okay. Cactuar. <laughs> <laughs> how many fingers do you think the sentient cactus has? How do they wear pants? Three? It does wear Four. pants. Four. Three. Mm, yeah, three. Three. It's ninja turtling it. Like oven mitt and two. Mm. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, like this? I was thinking more like this. this. If you were a cactus and had three fingers, would you have them like this or like, like this? Vote now in the comments below. What about this? Live not, long and prosper. Not on camera. Oh, my bad. Then we're not allowed to do this one anymore. Oh. <laughs> Okie dokie, pack two time. Let's go. Ooh, I got a artist pinup of Oko. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. What is this card doing in this set? <laughs> is it like a reprint or just like... It's a reprint. The... Okay, cool. Terror of the Peaks is here. I can't believe they reprinted this card. It's disgusting. I slam pick that. Huh. This is a hell of a mythic. I open Gisa the Hellraiser in foil. This card seems extremely good. I don't think there is a world in which I pass this. She casts for double black, and that's a challenge, but I think it's one I can adapt to this early in the draft without too much difficulty because she's just so good. In pack two, in the foil slot, I open a giant scorpion dragon, and perhaps we are green red. We'll take that. It seems ridiculous. <sighs> <laughs> No. I have opened a villainous wealth. I can feel the sadness emanating from Adam. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> hey, don't feel bad. I also opened a non-color rare that'd be really good in your deck. I first pick Prickly Pear in pack two, which is a red common that is sure to be one of the best commons in the draft format, as it's a creature that makes another creature. Wheeler made no secret that he was passing a villainous wealth, and I decided I haven't picked a second color really, I did just take this dragon, but I'm already set up from pack one to do some decent splashing, so I, I, I could be the villain. I could be the villain. I'm on the mythic hot streak. There's two in this one too. Dang. There's also two in my Yeah, pack. two in mine here. Wow, just play boosters, I guess. None of the rares are like super great for me, so I'm just gonna take this fixing land. I'm flexible. God, these full arts are so cool. You're so cool. Thank you. Whoa. God, I love roasting my boss. It's so sick. Yeah. I'm like Steve Austin. Ooh, I'm Graham. My sweater is really nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> I thought you might like it. I yeah, have I been it's... dying to ask. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I, Where, where'd you yeah. get it? I was influenced. Usually I'm stronger than this, but I saw a thing on TikTok and they're like, we're a small business, we make these. And I was like, I'm in. Well, I'm easily influenced. Wow. I need that small business. Right. I'm Graham. I support small businesses. What a nice guy. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Jerk. Yeah. As pack two continues, I am solidifying my villainous role here. I get a Rush of Dread, which is a black card that kills a bunch of creatures. I get the new Vraska in like the middle of the pack, so clearly no one else is in green black. I get a Mind Slaver, which seems super rude. So you know how much I enjoy the enchantment from, I think it's Guilds of Ravnica, Disinformation Campaign. Yeah, the... There's a new... There's no, there's a... new a, version of well, it? Well, kinda. It's Intimidation Whoa. Campaign. It loops when you crime. Ugh. There's a lot of good cards in this pack for me. Later on in pack two, I pick up Kervak the Punisher, who is kind of like a Snapcaster Mage for black. What the... I think a League of Legends hero escaped and got into a magic card. <gasps> He's... Yeah. I love him! Who, Big Possum? Big Possum! He is very big. Oh, and they gave him a blip and everything. Yeah. There's a lot in this pack that looks very, very good, but I am not not picking the Possum because look at him. <laughs> I am getting hooked up. I have become an is it drafter after a bunch of cheap spells that commit crimes come my way. And then I'm getting past a bunch of is it rares and uncommons like Malcolm, which is just a two mana two two haste flyer that wants me to commit crimes to draw more cards. And that's all I want to do. So I do it. Everybody ready for pack three? Feeling yes, it? sir. Yes. All right, let's go. <clears throat> I want to take you for a ride. <laughs> ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da -da. No, that sucked. My pack three first pick is take you for a ride, which is a threaten, but if you've committed a crime, it's an instant speed threaten, and they don't do that anymore. There's a reason why they don't do that anymore. I'm going to take their best thing and then kill it using their second best thing. So I take the card. Ooh, hey, our preview card. In pack three, I open our preview card, Smuggler's Surprise. It just seems like a very powerful green rare, and yeah, I'm gonna take it and put it in the deck. Oh, this card's so good. And it's not in my colors at all. First pick in pack three is actually an uncommon. It's like an O-ring, and I get a mercenary. It's basically like the, hello, here's a thing in your thing color thing. Great, I'll take it. Oh my God, there's a card called Bovine Intervention. <laughs> 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 I'm out. Uh, I'm in, brother. Oh, well. By pack three, green is pretty much dried up. I'm not seeing much green coming through pack two, so I think I am pivoting into Demir. So I just take a four mana exile target creature spell. Great, it's one of these. I'll take that. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, this, is, this card's messed up, so gonna take it. In the middle of pack three, I'm past the enchantment of Vraska joins up, but I am fairly confident nobody else is gonna want this, so I send it on its way and take a fight spell instead. Is there a is there a term for just popping off because you read the flavor text? Popping off? Letting Oko believe he held all the cards provided the perfect cover for her own scheme to unfold. Mm -hmm. Oh, Good. my girl, I love her. I, I would expect nothing less. Okay, we're deep into pack three and it's pretty clear that the only color that is vaguely open at this end of the table is white. I am getting a lot of white cards. I'm getting so many white cards, I get a white rare on the wheel. It's called Another Round and it's a sorcery and it basically blinks stuff. I've been picking up a lot of Enter the Battlefield stuff. I have a couple of those holy cows. I have a couple of other things that give things vigilance. Let's do it. Look at that top card. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. Man. The rest of pack three is looking like a victory lap. Like, I don't need these cards. My deck's busted. I got on color rares and removal. I'm just looking at cards going, oh, it's a cute cowboy. Oh, look at this. It's a horse or something. It, it doesn't, I don't even read the cards. As predicted, I successfully wield Vraska Joins Up. I don't even know if I want to play it. All right, we have drafted. 
How's everyone feeling about it? Oh, yeah. Gisa seems really, 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 really good. So, I mean, I can't complain. I'm not sure what kind of synergies this deck does other than just, you know, doing things that other people don't like. I don't know if my deck's any good. I mean, it's got some pretty disgusting creatures, so that's probably what's going for me. But what I appreciate is that I've stuck to my convictions. I'm not sure how good my deck is. Maybe I just should have been more aggressive about taking cards that were in front of me and like trying to muscle other people out of my territory, I guess, you know, stake my claim. But I got a lot of white cards. And so maybe I'm just in some kind of like white weenie, aggressive, blinky archetype. I have a lot of green two drops, so I can certainly build to the board early and hopefully hunker down until I cast Villainous Wealth once, just once. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win a game of magic and then possibly lose the other two in a match. My deck's very good. Yeah. Rootin' and tootin'. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. I have to see what it looks like laid out, but I think it's okay. Yeah. Having just drafted it, I'm excited to draft this set. I, I don't know if that's a, that's a kind of a odd thing to say, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I drafted at least. I'll see if it actually comes together and I go, oh wait, I have no, I don't know, removal? Wait, were we supposed to draft removal? Oh, I drafted removal. Yeah, oh, yeah no, I got that, don't worry. I did too, don't worry. Yeah. Dang it. All right, well. No, no removal, huh? Yeah. That'll be awkward. The other thing I just removed is my eye <laughs> from these stupid corks. <laughs> Well, in that case, it's time to go back to live for some draft gameplay. Oh, still hurts. But it seems like everybody drafted a really, really uh, good deck. We had a lot of fun drafting, and uh, now we get to put these into action. We did this quite a while ago. Like I, two weeks. Like two weeks ago, uh, and then just put our decks down. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see how they play because this format in general seems really, really cool. The draft packs are interesting. There's a lot of good stuff yep. in them. Yep. So I uh, can't wait to see how they play. Uh, shocking nobody, Wheeler won the dice roll. Okay. <laughs> We gotta start flipping coins. Oh, like, well, oh, actually, no, don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. Uh, so Wheeler's on the play, and uh, yeah, I think we're just ready to rumble. <laughs> yep. So, uh, in the words of Captain Neil, get it on. Good luck, Kathleen. Good luck. Uh, basic Mountain, go. I forgot to. Oh. <laughs> do my. I was so busy watching the draft video. I was having a great time. Ah, well. Well, now she's gonna keep a hand based off the fact that I have Mountain. Yeah. <sighs> No, I'm just gonna keep this hand because it's totally fine. Ooh. Oh. And so mountain, you went uh, mountain yeah. go. Mountain go. Well, you know what? You get to draw a card too. That's unfair. I know. <laughs> and you know what? It was a land. It's perfect. Mountain go. Can you believe magic? You just get to draw a card. I hate this game. Yeah. <laughs> Times have changed, yeah. man. I'm gonna play a rare. Oh boy. Uh, Malcolm the Eyes. Two mana, two two. Flying haste. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, investigate. Ooh. <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh, okay. Oh, if you had like a shock. <laughs> I wish. Uh, I am going to play instead nothing. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, Island. Uh, hit you for two. I think it's time for some bovine <laughs> intervention. Oh. Hey. So oh. you can get an ox instead. I get oh. an ox. Uh, Second main phase, I'm going to plot my Wolverine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the plot of Wolverine. He never seemed like the, the plotting type. No, he was more of the Berserker Barrage yeah. type. <laughs> it's in the garage. It's in the garage. Go ahead. That's two Marvel references today. I don't know what's wrong with me. He's, I mean, you were, you were just hoping for that Marvel 4 announcement. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. It's an inventive wingsmith. If at the beginning of my end step, if I haven't cast a spell for my hand this turn, uh, and this will get a flying counter. Whoa. A two four? Jesus. Whoa. Okay. For three? Banging. Uh untap. Go ahead. Draw. Mm. What does your Wolverine do when it enters the battlefield? Uh, when it ETBs, I exile the top card of my library, and until end of turn, I can play that card. Very fun. I DM I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to cast this Wolverine. Sure. So it ETBs, 
Uh, and then I exile the top card of my deck. Ooh, it's... Uh, I want to take you for the ride. For ride. Bam, 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 bam. Which oh, is in... you're going to grab my dude. Uh, I don't actually think I want to. Until end of turn, you can play this card. Oh, this stinks. I mean, I could steal your thing, get hit I, but, I ha but I have to pay the mana. But then you get to hit me for four. I do get to hit you for four. Then my curve is all the way, it's all wacky. I'm not going to do that. All right. Um, I am going to, And that's however, why Marvel keeps not getting it. <laughs> I am going to play a land and then play Outlaw Stitcher. Oh. Uh, so it's a four mana one four, and at ETBs, I create a two two black and blue zombie rogue token, and then I put two one one counters on it for each spell I've cast this turn other than the first. Holy moly. So I get a four four. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Seems pretty good. Uh, or sorry, two of them. It's I saw one four and go ahead. thought it was going to be like a sailor of means no, type effect. No, no, no. This is cool. It's, it's no, it's no sailor. It's means. mean, but yeah. you know. Go ahead, I will put my flying counter on my wingsmith. Mm. In the air, air, air. Uh, combat. Yeah. For four. Do I feel like doing funny things? Eh, not particularly. Me I'll just deciding whether four. or not I want to go into work? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't do necessarily <laughs> funny things here. Yeah. That was me with a tummy ache on Wednesday. <laughs> uh, post combat, I'm going to play an Archmage's Newt. Newt, Newt. Okay. Uh, uh, go ahead. Post your combat, I'm going to play a Holy Cow. Holy I'm going to flash that in and gain two life, and I'm going to scry one. Okay. Yes, I will keep that on top. An mm -hmm. amusing play. Oh, brother, where art cow? <laughs> where art cow? <laughs> this neat seems sick. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I like flashback. Is it just one matchup of draft? No, you're going to see everybody who drafted. So after, after this, it's me versus Adam, and then Graham's going to be fighting Cam. Wow. Yeah. And then we're doing the, uh, the commander game. Wow. Later. It's the Rodeo Pyromancers. Oh, yeah. Yeehaw, this card is great. Mm -hmm. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, add red, red. That's pretty good. Yeah. So that's really fun. But I'm just going to cast my second spell this turn, and I'm going to uh, cast this little 1-1 one, one Goblin Lackey. Gobbo. How's a first strike haster yeah. for one. It's a one two, and I can pay to sacrifice it to draw a card and make a treasure token. This card seems bananas good. Yeah. <laughs> Popper players are popping off. All right. So, what do you have that flies? Nothing. Nothing. That's Nothing. very exciting. Oh, that's but you have, true. have a lot of big things, which is very irritating. I got a two two, a three two, a one four, a two two, and a four four. I think I'd rather offer to trade some of my things than go into battle. Go ahead. I'd rather offer the trade than to go into oh, yeah, that. the anti-ragamon. Hey, it's anti-ragamon. <laughs> anti-ragamon. <laughs> Paying us a visit. Um, Tack for four. Tack for four? Tack for four. How, what kind of things are hanging around in your... Oh, probably. Three mana, deal four. Let's see if I can get a double block in here. I'm going to cast my three mana, deal four. Yeah. Uh, explosive derailments. I'm going to the, <laughs> kill the pyromancer. The warning came out. <laughs> well, I mean, I had to try. What mm -hmm. am I supposed to do? Just take four because I'm afraid of what may or may not be in his hand? That's true. You could triple block. Fear is the mind slaver. <laughs> I'm going to play resilient roadrunner. Um... Go ahead. I got Meep Meep and Newt Newt. Oh, shoot. We got all the noises. It's the Onomatopoeia deck. The ox goes... What's the Wolverine go, Ben? Ah! 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> You, you know, I don't have any way to dispute that. Stream so, needs to come with a warning. You asked me. It's so loud at this table. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to play Shepherd of the Clouds. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 4-3 Flying Vigilance, and I get a permanent card with mana value 3 or uh, less from my graveyard to my hand. If I had a mount, which I have a couple of in here, it would have gone to the battlefield. But that I'm just going to take this 4-3 and Hell then get yeah. my 3-3 three, three back. That card is sick. All right. Is that a pass? I don't have any good attacks. Go ahead. Mm. Um, I'm going to pay three and say my Meep Meep can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with haste. Oh. So only your lackey. My little lackey, but that's a, what is it, a three, it's a two two? Uh, two two. Uh, so I'm going to attack you with my four four and my two two. All right, let's see if I can kill this thing finally. Yeah, that's fine. I'll uh, take two. Take two. Doink, doink. Go ahead. All right. Some of the evil is defeated. Some of the evil. Yeah. So it just can't. So it has protection from coyotes, and you can pay to make it unblockable. Meep, That's meep. very yep. silly. There's definitely a lot of jokey cards in the set. Yeah, this one I don't mind as much. This one's all right. There's the weird boom box that has like horseshoes on it. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna play an enchantment. So my creatures are all kind of small and crappy. So I'm going to I'm taking I'm I'm taking this for a ride. I'm going to see if it works. It basically it sits there on the battlefield. It says target creature you control gets plus two plus zero until end of turn, and target creature you control gains menace and haste until end of turn. So okay. that could be kind of fun. So hmm. I can give so I can make my small things much better and actually threaten a decent attack. So yeah, do I want to attack though? I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm actually kind of doing okay on holding things back. Your deck, you you have said your creatures are a little dorky. They're but a little dorky. They do have, there are two four toughness creatures that you've played. And yeah. uh, the holy no, cow is game. No, three toughness. Like, no, three the, toughness. the pyromancers is oh, uh, yeah. four toughness. My deck might struggle with horned turtles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unless I draw my derailments. I'm quite have, excited. But... And it, it's not so bad. All right, I'm going to attack you with this, uh, this uh, flying dude. I'll take two. You'll take four, because it's getting plus two, plus oh, until end of turn. I'll take four. Go ahead. Oh, mama. Uh oh. Uh, I'm going to play my land. And then I'm going to cast, I think I'm going to cast it this way. Plan the heist. Uh, surveil three, and if I have no cards in my hand, or sorry, surveil three if I have no cards in my hand, then I draw three cards, and it has plot for four. Seems like a nice one to touch. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to surveil three. I almost caught up. I had almost sort of gotten back into it. I am going to draw these three cards. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky combat. Uh -huh. Everybody in. All right. Hey Siri, are there instant speed trumpet blasts in this format? Are there any X there ones is. in this format? Yeah. yeah. It draws a card. What? Yeah. <laughs> but only if you have an outlaw, which you do. I do. All right. Well, it's not going to get any better. I'm going to flash in my holy cow. I'm going to gain two life, and I'm going to scry one. Yes. I was wondering I if there was a three man to settle the wreckage. I, I do have a game a spell I'd like to cast before you go to blocks. I okay, go ahead. I am going to cast slick sequence. Two damage to any target, and if I have cast another spell this turn, I draw a card. So I'm gonna shock the cow and draw. You I had, had I literally had <laughs> almost sort of clawed my way back. <laughs> you had such an opportunity. What? You could have shocked the monkey. <laughs> oh, no. Well, the monkey doesn't... Can I go back and make worse the blocks? The monkey can't, uh, can't trade with things. It just chumps. Eh, 
effective. But I do love Peter Gabriel. But it's the humor of it all. All right, so that's two, four, five, seven, ten. Ugh. I will jump there. Sure. Uh, take, take seven. seven. Go ahead. Nah. Instead, we chump the monkey. Chump the monkey. Maybe I should have taken ten. I could have done two things this turn. I'm so oh, dead. It's, it's not a monkey. It's a goblin. Oh. It's, a, it's an Ixalan the, the, sure, they furry look, monkey goblin. They are monkeys. Yeah. At some point, a goblin and a monkey got freaky. All <laughs> one mana red creatures that are a little pushed are monkeys. Now. Yeah, yeah. How am I supposed to survive this? <sighs> Wrath of God. No. You know what? It's tempting, isn't it? What? <laughs> Hold on. Let me go get you one. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead. Oh, the... Uh, it would have been a little bit cheaper Next, last turn if I hadn't have blocked. I feel like taking 10 is silly. And I've got good blocks on at least some of these creatures. Oh, Montana. Until my creatures get killed. Uh, explosive derailment. Let's just go to game two. Okay. <laughs> that was some zoom zoom. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess, like literally, the idea with the 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 is it or the the blue red. We're not on Ravnica. No. The, the blue red deck is you want to be casting two spells, right? So everything's going to be like cheap, and you know, you can one right after another. But yeah. I like the I like how that plays with plot. Like be, plot seems like their big mechanic for this set. So they were just like, well, if we this this seems like the time to bring back the double spell from like Eldraine, I guess was the last time that was like a central theme. Yeah. Yeah. Its plot is very cool. It's one where I wonder how newer players are going to take to it because there's no instant gratification, but it in, you're investing in your future. Yeah. Which is like... Which, I don't understand that yeah. as like a general life yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm what sorry. You... I'm not getting the gratification now. Hold on. Savings account? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is an RSP? A 401k, you say. <laughs> oh, are we seeing some sideboarding action going on? We are seeing a little bit of sideboarding Ooh. action. Ooh. I think I can make this work. How can your deck? I thought your deck was perfect. No, I'm just looking at my sideboard. Oh, okay. oh, what do you got? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that neat. One, that one actually might be fine. Man, this is a hella sideboard, dude. Yeah. <laughs> There's like one off color card in your sideboard. And I rare drafted that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like, seems like the draft went your way. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. This is my, this is what Charlie Brown feels like all the time, I think. Mm. Oh, hey, hey, you're not bald. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's a powerful look. I mean, I could set up like a little like, that's free advice stand right that's, here. That's when I find out that... Uh, um, you. I feel like you're more of a Snoopy kind. Snoopy? Yeah. 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 I like to be a Woodstock or something mm -hmm. like that. Last. Do you have a naturally poor sense of direction? <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> well, no, you know, I, I play a lot of horror games, so it comes like, that's something you need to have. Mm -hmm. I like the Go idea left. of a Let's Snope where you're playing a game where Charlie's just trying to kick the soccer ball. Yeah. Because he keeps taking it away, yeah. and like, you've got to somehow get through that. I feel like that's kind of what's going on, you know? Kathleen, Kathleen plays a creature, lines up the football, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then Ben shocks it. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd be Linus in this scenario? Cameron seems like a Linus. Oof, no way. He's yeah. going to hear you say that. Huh? What's wrong with Linus? He's got a lot of good input. You know, I watched the Charlie Brown Christmas this past Christmas season. Is it your first time? Uh, no, I watched it a bunch, but I hadn't really watched it as like a you know a thirty year old man mm -hmm. and. Um, it's a lot funnier than I remember it being. And also, it's just like, wow, these kids are brutal to each other. They're so relentless. They're so <laughs> but do you think about it? That's how kids sort of are. Yeah. yeah behind, behind, like, you know, like, as adults, we don't get, we don't see it. Right. Because that'd be weird, unless you have kids. 
But it's like, kids are brutal, man. Yeah. They're relentless. Linus basically tells Charlie Brown, being like, oh, dude, shut up. Yeah. It is <laughs> not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, early Peanuts comics are really, really funny, <laughs> yeah. and they're way more subversive than anybody remembers them being. Mm. Is it a soccer ball in Canada? No, no, no. Oh dear, <laughs> we're having we're having three levels of confusion across the uh, across borders. So, I stored this deck in a box in a way that is tucked away from humidity mm. and whatnot. And normally, I defend the actual foils and quality of foils. I've defended them in the past. Yeah. I've told people that you're American, you live in Florida or on a swamp or whatever. But what is this? We, yeah. this, is, this is... I mean, you were rifle shuffling. That's true. Okay. All right, Sorry. I'm gonna, I've kept this six. Okie dokie. Rock and roll. Let's boogie woogie. Mountain, go. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> uh, mountain, go. Planes, go. Oh, those are uh, marked cards, Wheeler. I know. Uh, Archmage's Newt. Okay. Go Newt. ahead. Jesus Christ. Wingsmith. Uh, yep. Go ahead. Seems like a good one on turn three. It's so big. That booty thick. Uh, nimble Brigand. Uh, three mana, one, three. Can't be blocked this turn if I've committed a crime. Uh, and when it deals combat damage to a player, I draw a card. That's fun. Go ahead. There's one every set. Mm -hmm. And I will overvalue them every single time. <laughs> I mean, this one's unblockable. Yeah, it's, the ones that get unblockable. Are... I played a lot of Gateway Sneak. I can get away with this. No. Yeah. They always have the biggest booty, too. Can I just, what's this do? Ugh, that's awful. Snapcaster gets on it. Giddy-up. <laughs> uh, I'm, your uh, newt is gonna get lassoed by the law. <laughs> that's an illegal no, newt. Oh, my newt! You didn't pay your royalties to Big Pengu. Uh, oh. And I get a mercenary. Oh. Didn't play, pay the newt tax. It's a little O one. Okay. And it means that, and They're I can tap ones. it to give, oh yeah, it's a little 1-1, one, one, and uh, I can tap it to give something uh, plus 1 plus 0 oh until end of turn, but only as a sorcery. Cool. Go ahead. Cool. Hmm. That's wild. <laughs> I wouldn't. That lassoed by the law is a crime. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I think that's appropriate, but no. that's a longer, that's a larger that's conversation thing, yeah. to have. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play rodeo pyromancer. I know that card. And I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna play a mountain, and I'm going to play for. Uh, yeah, ooh, I, with a slight discount. Ooh. A Hellspur Brute, a 5-4. Yep. 5-4 Trample. Sick. Mercenary is good for affinity for mercenaries. My yeah. dude is so outlaws. Love to Love to work together. Uh, so I have a 2-4, but it doesn't fly, and you have a 3-4. Eh, go ahead. Mountain. <clears throat> I'm gonna take you for a ride. Uh, I'd like it. to take your Hellspur Brutes. Uh -huh. uh, I have a trigger because I've cast a spell. I add two red to my pool. Am I gonna get uh, flung? And this, no, no, unfortunately not. Uh, and this uh, is unblockable uh, because I've committed a crime. I'm going to then use the two and two to play Outlaw Stitcher. So it makes a zombie, which I have here, and the zombie is now a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, combat. Uh -huh. wow. I take six. Uh, take six, and I draw a card. And then I'm going to pass back, and you get that. Ay, ay, ay. Pyromancer is pretty good. 
Now, I'm a little biased because this card, this card's name is uh, me, but, you know. Fair. Uh, He's the Rodeo. And I try Pyromancy. But, uh, yeah, I really like these. I, what is this? This is Stagecoach Security. Look, too much stuff has happened. We're locking it down. Oh, that's this, big. Uh, it, creatures I control get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. And, uh, yeah, and that's a four or five. All right. So it blocks and it make attack. So you have a one, four, a two, three, four. That's a gooder. That's so, so big. And you can plot it early, too. So I have a 5-5 five, five Vigilance right now. That sounds very fun. 6-5. Uh, 6-5. Six, six, five. Six, five. Six, five. Even bigger. Well. And, and Trample. Your deck has a lot of booty, Kevin. Boop, boop. I mean, I may as well. Mm. <coughs> I'm going to double block. That seems with fine. With the zombie and the Stitcher. All right. So I will kill your zombie and leave your Stitcher. Sure. And I'll kill your brute. Go ahead. Mm. Yeah, Stitcher seems really good. Be slamming that down. I don't lose behind a 1-4, which is very nice. I'm going to... Explosive derailment, your 2-4. This triggers, so I get two red in my pool. I'm going to use one, and, and this is now unblockable. I'm going to use one and a red to cast Slick Sequence to deal two damage to your mercenary and draw a card. Um... And then I'm going to use the red and one to play Discerning Peddler. On the DTBs, I can discard a card if I do draw a card. So I'm going to discard this mountain, draw a card, and go to combat uh, for one, unblockable. Hit you, draw a card. And I'm going to play an island and pass. Daniel Casual holds in chat, wondering if uh, Wheeler would like to try being nice to Kathleen. Daniel. I don't think that's ever worked that way. <laughs> <laughs> Admit it. If I came to the office and was incredibly nice, that would be more unsettling than it would, anything. It would, right? it would have been just a normal day. It would be off putting. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you just uh, take ahead. it home to your husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh. Can, I can't believe what this guy You'll did You'll never today. believe the crap that I Honey, had to deal with. <laughs> they did it again. I'm going to cast Seize the Secrets, uh, Pyromancer's Trigger. Uh, it's just draw two cards. Divination. Mm. Okay, okay. I guess that's always kind of a thing that you can look at for this set, like when you're playing Limited, is if somebody plays something like this. Go. Uh, and they haven't committed a crime. That's like a nice indicator. Bovine that. intervention to destroy mm. this unblockable guy who's oh. drawing you cards. I get an ox. But yeah, indicator that they might not, they likely don't have removal or anything in mm -hmm. their hand, which is cool. <clears throat> Kathleen's got a chance. <laughs> All right, it's time for one last job. Jesus. Uh, I'm going to return target creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield. I'm just going to take the biggest, scariest thing. I'm going to take this big old 5-4 trampler. Big old brute. This big old, big chonky boy. But I don't think I have much else to do, so go ahead. Mm. This one seems really good. Go. Cool. You can get the full value. I think chonky there's a lot of boys. decks. That would get the creature Take me and the aura. Home. Chunky boys. To a place. Go ahead. Malcolm. Mm. Yes, Ben? Nothing. 
Uh, I'm going to cast Take the Fall. Oh, sorry, I have a have right Pyromancer's now. Trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to cast Take the Fall okay. as my second spell. Uh, I'm going to investigate so I get a clue. And then I'm going to give your... This Whoa. thing, minus four, minus zero. Okay. Uh, because I control an outlaw, and I draw a card. I don't know if we have the, the token art. I'm a big fan of these clues. Oh, uh, no, we don't. It's just a skeleton hand holding the... Uh, I like that clue. Yeah, it's a good clue. Uh, draw a card for Take the Fall. I'm going to use this two red to crack this clue. Mama. Uh, combat. Steer clear. Oh! Dang. My Malcolm. He had to attack, otherwise I would have gotten him sooner, but he could get you a clue. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to plot my Wolverine. And I'm going to play another Nimble Brigand. Oh my God. Go ahead. I'm starting to realize maybe I shouldn't have intentionally drafted a bunch of foils. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for an outlaw medic. Hey, yeah. okay. classic. Life link one three. Draw a card when it dies. That's annoying. That's yeah. a nice one. Demon fire in chat wondering if Kathleen's deck is entirely made of cow puns. There's a lot of cow puns There's in There's a lot here. of cow pokes in there. <clears throat> is that a pass? Yeah, that's a... Ooh. I'm going to cast Brimstone Roundup. I know exactly what that card does. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I cast a second spell. I make a Mercenary token. Uh, Pyromancer's Trigger for two. I'm going to then cast the Wolverine uh, for free, triggering my Brimstone Roundup, giving me a Merc. Uh, the CTBs, I then exile the top card of my deck. I'm going to play that land. Uh... I do not have a good attack. Go ahead. Because mm. I have not committed a crime. I mean, I have, but I don't want to talk about it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, wise. For, for, all the, uh, for all the FBI agents well, watching. Well, uh, let's put it this way. I've Googled what the Canadian equivalent of uh, statute of limitations is, and oh, for certain right. crimes, there is none. So. Ah, all right. Well, there you go. <clears throat> go ahead. Untap. No one can find out about the 2002 <laughs> FNMs. Wheeler needs to stop Googling how to make napalm on the office computer. God, I wish it were that. Uh, on oh, the office computers. Come on. What beach Googles has got to be worse? <laughs> yeah, we're already on a list. Uh, that's not good enough yet. I'm going to play... Uh, oh, no, never mind, because I have this brimstone roundup. I'm going to pass the turn. Whoa. Yeah, I'm just not going to do a thing. I'm not going to do right. a darn thing. Go ahead. I have a card draw spell in here somewhere. Go ahead. Ferocification. Beginning of combat, something gets huger or it gains medicine haste. But I think I'm totally fine to just sit here and and hold back your attacks as you are holding back mine. Sure. Wow, this mercenary token is great. Like the art? Or? Yeah, this artwork rules. Yeah. Put it back on the card reader. I don't think we have the tokens. Oh. We were throwing off the uh, the clue one earlier yeah. and it didn't show up. Great art. Hey, uh, uh, is maybe, that a pass? Maybe yeah, you a mill pass. out Ben. <laughs> I mean, that's a distinct possibility at this point. <laughs> Go ahead. I am drawing a lot of lands. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Wee. Ha ha. Mountain. <coughs> Prickly pear. Ah. Uh, my called shot for the best common in the set. It was not a big called shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Mm, the three mana 2 2 that comes in with another thing? Now, not to be a regular Nostradamus over yeah. here, but. Uh, and I get two red for my pyromancers. I'm then going to use that two, <clears throat> two red immediately to play the Meep Meep, the yep. Roadrunner, uh, triggering my Brimstone Roundup so I get another Merc. Oh, dear. <clears throat> I always considered you more of a Nostradamus. Oh, thank you. Gamer or homo? Which one are you going for this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to give this uh, can't be blocked up by creatures with haste, and then my mercenary that can tap is going to pump it, and I'm going to hit you for three. Uh, this has haste. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can block with that. I think I will, and then I'm going to pop it to get a card. Sure. And, and a, a treasure. Jesus. And a treasure? I draw a card and I make a treasure. Dang. What a good what a good thing. Good little guy. What a guy. Boop. Uh, and then that's gonna be pass. I'm going to flash in a holy cow. Holy cow. I'm gonna gain two life and I'm gonna scry one. Oh my god, you're on the board. Yeah, I mean. With that. Hold the line and <laughs> yeah, who knows? The cow plus this enchantment's hitting for a lot. Like that's not nothing. Oh yeah, you've got no reachers and no. I've got no reach. No reach. All right, go to attacks. Hit mm -hmm. you for four with this cow. Sure, I take four. I'm going to. Ariat's Lullaby, your Roadrunner. Meep, meep. I gain two life. Oh. And I'm going to play these Vengeful Town Folk. Whenever one or more other creatures die, put a plus one, plus one counter on them. That you control, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, great. Yes. Okay, just card. But still, it's a 3-3 three, three for 3 that possibly has some upside. Yes. Man, unruly mob, where are you now? Yeah. You've, uh... They grew up they grow <laughs> so grew, fast. They grew up. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, well. Go. Hit you for four? Yep. Go ahead. <clears throat> oh, I'm thinking of... Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking about that. I'm going to... Take the fall on your life linker. Okay. Uh, trigger the pyromancers. This can now not be blocked, and I draw a card. <clears throat> um, oh, you're at oh, you're at seventeen. Uh, I'm gaining a lot of life. A lot of life. How many cards you got left in that library? Oh, lots. He's One, got two, lots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I got plenty. Not even a doomsday stack yet. I'm going to try to buff my brigand for plus three. Yep. And I would like to. I'm, I'm going to lose this pyromancer mana, but that's fine. I'd like to hit you for four. Unblockable. I take four. Take four. Uh, draw a card. Um. One, two, three, four. I'm going to cast Plan the Heist, um, Brimstone Roundup Trigger. I have cards in my hand, so I don't surveil three, but I draw three. Oh, yes. There's I, four cards left in this I now game. have zero lands left in my deck. I got, th I got three cards left. Um, I mean, we'll see. Sorry, can I grab a, do we have another one of these? Yeah, sorry. sorry. All right, good. I'm going to pass the turn after Boop. that. Well, beep beep, four in the air. I'll take four. Go ahead. The plan is just live at this point. Sorry, hold on. I had some amount of mana tapped. Uh, four plus that, so I had that tapped. Um, End of your turn. Uh -uh. Is it better to get one? No, because that represents that. That should be fine. Never mind. I don't think it matters. In fact, I think it's worse if I do it the way that I was thinking. Draw. I'm going to cast Explosive Derailment, and no, I'm going to kill your townsfolk, yeah, I and I make two red, 
This could be it for our hero. The woman in black. Uh, and then I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to explosive derailment using the two floating to kill your brute. This is going to trigger, so I get another merc. Um, I got two cards left. I'm going to buff my unblockable creature, and then I'm going to smash with everyone. This one can't be blocked. Uh, and then it's... Well, how much damage is on the can't be blocked? Uh, five. Five. And I got two threes here, and then twos and a one. So you're taking five. You're probably gaining one from this if it blocks. Yeah. Well, uh, I have to block. Yes. I'm just trying to figure out if I'm dead, and I'm not very good at math. But we'll say I'm not even going to bother blocking that. So yeah. we'll say I'm going to take six, and then I can block two threes probably. Mm -hmm. So that's six, gain one, and then take another six. That's 12. That's I'm not dead. Yeah. I go to one, so yeah. I block like this. I would like to kill your pyromancers. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, I'm at one. <clears throat> um, going to play land. Going to tap one, two, three, four, five to cast Peerless Rope Master. Uh, when it comes into play, oh, and I draw a card because this hit you. Okay. So I have one card left left in library. Uh, uh, it's still his turn. Your turn oh. should still be. Oh tapped. yeah. Uh, I'm going to play the Rope Master. I'm going to bounce my Stitcher back to my hand. And you're going to replay the Stitcher. Going to replay the Stitcher, and then it's going to come into play. Make a zombie token with one, two, three, four, five, six uh, additional counters. So I make an 8-8. Eight, eight. Hey, team, I just need to let the chat know that Kathleen already drew her card from her dead life linker. No, I didn't. Oh, actually. I thought you did. I thought you said it. Okay. Nope. Cool. Uh, and then I'm going to pass the turn. Well, that's another land that I've drawn. Well, I can take you to four. Good job, Wheeler. Thank you for the games, Kathleen. Ooh, so we got to see the entirety of your deck pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's uh, you know, the, the thing about the, we, us doing like the one and dones and whatnot is sometimes you don't get to see the entirety of people's decks, but we got to see yours all the way through. <laughs> yep. Literally Every, almost well, decked you and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we saw the, I guess, the choo-choo train come. That was actually like a huge stall out by Kathleen, though. Yeah. Which is like... Kind of hard to get through four booties. Yeah, without the evasion. And like that cow, like could have gone all the way, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Holy cow. Pretty good. Uh, so we're going to take uh, a quick little breaky roo as we swap over. Coming up next, it's going to be myself versus Mr. Savadan with. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, we got Surge. No, wait. Uh, Cameron. Cameron is going here. But Nelson is swapping out for Surge. So that uh, you, you can have the voice, the other voice of God in our heads. Anyways, <laughs> don't go. We can hear the laugh. They laugh as soon as you're like, "Oh, it's Cameron." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, don't go away. More draft times after this. Hello, and welcome back to the Outlaws of Thunder Junction pre-release showcase. Here on the loading, <laughs> ready, run. Oh, man, the internet man. channel juggernaut. <laughs> we're here with this. This is great. Yeah, yeah no, I'm just <laughs> killing it. Killed it. Uh, <laughs> we're here with round two of our draft. Yeah. To my left, I have Ben Ulmer. Hi, I'm Ben Ulmer. To my right, I have Adam Savadin. What up, Stinkies? Hey. All right. Uh, really? We have generated first player. Goodbye. Yeah, stink. <laughs> I think they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, in bulk. Hey, let's play yeah. magic. Let's play magic. <laughs> Absolutely. We're here to play magic. Uh, so, Adam, you won yeah, the die roll? Yep, yeah, sure did. Playing first? Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> you zigzag on me. This hand is way worse on the play. Uh, <laughs> all right, good luck. You too, man. I'll play the swamp. Go ahead. Oh, all right. No soul ring. No. <laughs> Forest, go. <laughs> Draw set. Uh, planes, go ahead. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll play a Montagna. Yeah. 
Time for these vermins to get on up in here. Mm -hmm. It's a 2-2 two -two vigilance that keeps on ticking. Uh, you can sack it to destroy an artifact or enchantment. Sick. Pass through. Uh, play a planes. I will tap three. I will play this vault plunderer. It's a three mana three one. When it enters the battlefield, a target player, me, draws a card and I lose a life. But what about me? <laughs> Good, thanks. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll draw. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. This is interesting. So, Adam. Hey, what's up? Sunset Rider stage one background music. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> what's up? I gotta ask. I'm I'm completely naive. Yeah. Unfamiliar. But what? <laughs> what it's from? Everything. Well, yeah. It's from <laughs> Sunset Riders. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were just gonna leave them. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm naive. I yeah. was confused about the question. It's from a video game called Sunset Riders. <laughs> okay. And it is stage one, mm -hmm. and it's the theme to stage one. Thank and you. It's a game okay. about cowboys. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an old uh, arcade game. Dope. Yeah. Uh, so weird. Wait, hold on. Let me read this card. There's cowboys in it. Yeah. Hmm. Combat. Yeah. Yeah, I'll block. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play. A scale storm summoner. Mm -hmm. It's a three mana three three. If when it uh, attacks, I make a three one dinosaur token. If I control a creature with power four or greater. Okay. All right. Pass through. Uh, tap two. Play outlaw medic. You got it. It's a one three life link, and when it dies, I draw a card. Go ahead. Yep. Okay. Now would be a really sick time to have something with power four toughness in my hand. <laughs> it would be, yeah. Uh... But it don't. Swing for three. Uh, sure, yeah, I'll take it. Yep. All right. Uh, second main, I'm gonna play this cutie patootie. Uh, it's a 3-3 three, three, uh, with saddle 1, and uh, whenever it attacks while saddled, it gets plus 1, plus 2 until end of turn, and then I can turn any number of creatures that saddled it to my hand. Okay. Go for it. He's just a little guy. Or a, a big guy, I guess. Yeah. He's a big yeah, little guy. Uh, tap 3. I'm going to play this Ruthless Lawbringer. There's a battlefield, I may sacrifice Whoa. another creature, and I can destroy a creature. Yeah. So I will sack this and I'll kill that. Value Town. Oof, draw a card. And then. Play a swamp and say go. Okie doke. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hmm. Hmm. Awkward. Well, um, am I just doing this? Feels kind of bad, but sure. Uh, I'm gonna trick shot this guy. He deals six damage to it. There's scam oh. effects in this format. On the stack. Or village rights in this format. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Okie doke. Combat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pass through. Okay. Cards in hand. Uh, five, three, <laughs> three, <laughs> seven, eight. Do I hear nine? <laughs> I'll tap five. I will cast Gisa. Yikes! 
That's... Five mana, four, four, ward two, pay two life. <sighs> Uh-huh. Uh, skeleton zombies get plus one, plus one. Whenever you commit a crime, create two, two, two. Two, two huh? Yeah. Neat. Go ahead. I'm hmm. in danger. Uh, okay. I'm going to play this hard bristle bandit. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a mana dork, and whenever I commit a crime, you can untap it. Oh, just nice. once per turn. Yeah. Um... I'm going to use it to saddle the possum, mm -hmm. go to combat. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to swing in with this four or five. Uh, yeah, I'll take four. Life is a resource. Sure is, brother. Pass. I'll go to combat. I will attack with Giza. You got it. Take it for it. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Ben. Uh, on your end step, yeah. I would like to pay two, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm gonna Cross and Tusker this oh, Spinewood yeah. Armadillo. Yeah. Uh, so discard it. Uh, I search a library for a basic land or a desert. Reveal it. Put it into my hand. Then shuffle, and I gain three. Yep. All right. Uh, I'll grab a Montagna. Now I'm just gonna have Sunset Rider stuck in my head all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what a nightmare. There you go. Yeah, this goes in my hand. Whoop. Untap. Draw. Well, I guess I could do it this way. It's kind of the same thing, but feet, but looks cooler. <laughs> but you've got all this open mana, so I'll do the safe thing instead. I'm gonna play a mountain. Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch the coffee. Jeez. That's amazing. That is amazing. Let's do a flip? Yeah. No, it landed wedged yeah. between that was, the table that was and really the impressive. Uh, yeah. Gonna watch Serge run out for some paper towel as I tap this for green. Yeah. Uh, so I got seven mana and I play my big mythic. Uh, <laughs> There's already paper towels here. Seven mana, six, six. <laughs> They're I already saturated earlier. with coffee. Yeah. So it's, seven, uh, yeah. it's a 6-6 six, six Trampler. Whenever another creature, whenever it or another creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield I control, I gain 3 and draw. And when it dies, if it's not a token, I make a token copy of it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to gain 3 and draw. Yeah. Ooh. He's the biggest boy. Um... Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to saddle the possum. Sure. <laughs> so this dinosaur yeah. is going to get on this little guy yeah. <laughs> and uh, go to combat. Yeah. Swinging for four with a four five. Sure, I'll take four. Pass through to you. And so I'm going to cast Consuming Ashes on the six six and to exile. Exile. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And I get two two twos. To to do zombies. Yes, please. Um, cool. We only have the one token, so there will be two of them. Draw. We should have like infinite two two zombie tokens in the box as well. Uh, these are blue black zombie rogues. Oh, yeah. In which case, ignore me. Thank you, Cameron. <laughs> We could use these 10 10 L draws. <laughs> Saddle doesn't care about summoning sickness, but this one, Saddle is at uh, sorcery speed, unlike crewing. I'm going to cast a sword of wealth and power. Oof. Okay. Uh, Pro instance and sorceries. Yeah. 
I'm gonna equip it to one of the zombies. Yeah. All right. I'd like to I go mean, to combat. Yep. I'll attack with the zombie. Yep. Uh, is it combat damage? Okay. So yeah. Uh, you take four. Mm-hmm. And then I make a treasure token and. Any instants or sorceries I cast this turn are duplicated. That uh, should be five damage. Gis is oh, also five. a lord. Yeah, oh, it's also a lord, yeah. And I have a zombie kicking out over here. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess we can use the regular zombie yeah, tokens. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, go ahead, Ben. Okie dokie. It's Mythic O'Clock over here. Oh, they get Menace. Wow, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, that card just keeps saying things. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, okay. So I think the play here... I just gotta make sure I've got enough mana for this. Four, two. I'm just very excited that we have a front runner for the worst smelling human being in the multiverse with Geese of the Hellraiser. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure you don't want to change out of the wedding dress True. you've been wearing for six years, Gisa? Yeah. We're, on, we're in a desert. <laughs> okay, well, um, no, oh, no, you're good, desert. okay. Yeah, no, the, the wedding dress was not black to start with. I am one mana short from potential victory. So, I mean, fudge and ward two, man. Off by one. Yeah, well, okay, so here's the game plan. I'm gonna add one green to my pool. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to play bristling backwards. So it's gonna come in tapped and ping you. That's a crime, so mm -hmm. this is gonna untap. Yep. Uh, I'm going to saddle the possum. Sure. Um, and then I have one green floating. Right, no, I did this wrong. Well, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Tap for five, six. Uh, I'll cast Betrayal at the Vault. Mm -hmm. Target creature you control deals one deals damage equal to its power to each of two other creatures. Yep. So there is a there's a way that like if this if I had the correct if I had eight mana here mm -hmm. and this was saddled, I could like yeah, yeah. do that. But in this case I'll just have it hit the zombie. Sure. I'll go to combat. Yep. Uh this is a four or five and swing for lethal. Yeah, I'll block. Yeah. Okay, that's me. Now I gotta just gotta deal with this sword zombie. Hold on, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each of two other targets. So you need to have, oh, you, I'm sorry. Two targets, yes, you had two targets there. Yeah. Uh, oh no, <laughs> I literally can't ward. because it, it has wards, so yeah. Okay, right, it has going. to have two targets, that's what I was gonna say. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll just scoop uh, up. Okay, okay. I can't Giza there. Yeah, so I was looking at that for a second, then I checked the board and things were missing, thank you. Uh, I guess I could have like killed my mana dork. Eh, it's fine. I'll just take game too. That's all right. I don't think I'm beating the dude with the sword. I had three lands in hand as well, so. That's okay, go to game two. Yeah, sometimes you just scoop them up, scoop it up. 
So I had, sorry, I had eight mana, but one, but w like one of the mana is from the the cactus boy, which means, and I need him to uh, also saddle. So I had seven mana or six mana, mm -hmm. and then this and this cactus yeah. boy, right? So one of it has to go into saddling. I can t untap it, right? So now I've got yeah. and then tap. I mean, so I definitely screwed mana. up there. I should have just equipped the sword to Giza. <laughs> so, <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> I it, mean, it is worth mentioning there were some potential other lines. Do you want to explore them really quickly? Mm -hmm. So you could have targeted your own tapped creature. Yes. For example, so yeah. then the spell is still legal and stuff like that, and the board state continues, um, but. Absolutely. No, I mean, if we're at the point that you've scooped up, everything yeah, is fine. I'm okay. I'm yeah. okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Gigi, go next. Yeah. Also, yeah. just for the, the, the benefit of the audience. Oh, yeah, totally. Going all over the yeah, place. Yeah, the Quip Zombie had pro instance and was like this mm. big old friend. I guess my my, my possum wouldn't have died, so there, I had a lot of life. I don't know. I probably could have kept going. But uh, I just didn't see the line, and sometimes you don't. I mean, welcome to the day where we're literally playing with the cards for the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. Of, of any time, and this... of any time to forgive ourselves for not playing optimally, it's <laughs> literally the day the cards are, are live, right? Five, yes. Six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, brother. I'll take the play. But have you considered how you could have sunlanced to the dome at end of turn? <laughs> yeah, I'll keep it. It's fine. It's playable. All right. So, how's it going, chat? <laughs> do you do, do you like magic cards? That would be awesome if they were like none of them. Yeah, were like no, we're just, I'm good, dog. Yeah, yeah. I just came into this house and this. <laughs> yeah. This channel was open on the computer. It was I weird. Turned on my computer. And... You this say was pass weird. Like it was speed dating. <laughs> like... Yeah. Yes. No. Skip. Yeah. Skip. I don't like this one. Skip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roller. <laughs> you sit down to speed dating, and the other person's just like, "Skip." Oof. Yeah. I haven't even the said hi yet. Loud, yeah. incorrect buzzer. Yeah. Bang. <laughs> Going to five. <laughs> you haven't seen a single magic trick? Yeah. Wait a second. Speed run dating. You sit down across the table and they just like do a backflip and phase through a wall. They do that Mario thing where they bounce up the steps <laughs> backwards. Have you ever seen the one where yeah, they jump yeah, yeah, through the yeah. door? Like, or, or you just get struck through the forehead left. by a cosmic ray and a bit flips. <laughs> and they disappear from your field of vision. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm not going to four, so. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They just leave. Yep. I'd be more sad at that yeah. than them just saying I'm not interested. You know. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it, I suppose it depends what speed run they're going for. Like, yeah, do you just true. wind up like looking at their uh, grave, small. feeling bereft after a life lived together that you don't remember? I'll play a Nizumi Link Raker. It's a one mana one one, and it dies Ooh. into a one one. Go ahead. Yep. Go. Hup. Combat. Yep. Taking one. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I do get to play today. I'm going to play this Drover Grizzly. It's a 4 2 mm -hmm. with saddle one, and if it's saddled when it attacks, it gain, uh, creatures I control gain trample. Okay. Go for it. Play a swamp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go to combat. Yep. Attack. Taking one. I will play a second Nizumi later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That is a valid question from chat. Have we gotten non-grizzly bears? Oh, like, like a black two bears, polar bears. Oh. We get polar bears on polar on winter bear. orb. Yeah. Come it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll block. You got it. Uh, I'm gonna fake your own death on Ooh. the Nizumi. So they trade. I get a one-one, and this comes back. Yeah. 
I'm gonna plot this big guy. It's a five four trampler with an ETBs. I gain three life. Sure. Go for it. Oh. Oh, you didn't gain three life there. It's target creature you control. Uh doesn't does that have does it give you anything else? Uh cash? Oh I got a treasure token. Wow. That card's great. Yeah. I didn't even think I got a treasure token out of that. It's the insurance scam. That's why I'll do that. Combat. Mm -hmm. I'll swing for three. Taking three. Go ahead. Uh, I'd like to play this guy. Yeah. I will gain three. Yep. I got time walked. <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, that's the speed run. Yeah. That's the speed run. Wah, 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 Let's go up the stairs. <laughs> I'll play this hard bristle bandit. Uh, yeah. Pass to you. Uh, end step. I'm gonna murder the Cool. Big thing. Uh, whoop. I'm gonna play land. Might as well see what the last card is. I'll cast Humility. Ooh. So you discard that. <laughs> All right. And what then, was it? Uh, it's a Savage Smash. Yeah. Oh. I was holding on to it for later when I was going to attack. And then... But we're two I, steps behind that now. I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter here. Yeah. I got it. Oh. Dang. All right. Uh, combat. Yep. Taken four. Go ahead. Taking four. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, go Speed running this pizza. <laughs> uh, go for it. Okay. Oh. Combat. Uh, I'll block here. Sure. I will snakeskin veil to give it hexproof and a 1 1 counter. Sure. It dies and I take three. Yeah. Go ahead. Go for it. Oh. I will play this dual land tapped. Ow! And you take one. Combat. Swing for two. Take two. Go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. Yeah. yeah. Uh, play land. Okay, we trade. Yeah. We get a 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. Tap 3. Play this pun Plunderer, targeting myself. Oh, but you could bring me so much closer <laughs> to death. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. You've got lethal on board next turn, even if I play a crit. 2-3. Play another pun Plunderer, yep. targeting myself. Yep. Go ahead. All right. Uh, well, Wait, yeah. I play this three drop, though in ETBs, if I control a creature with power four or greater, I draw a card. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> uh, that's true. Adam is using his new vintage skills like a pro. A little attempt to cast this journey to Cool! Nowhere. All right! <laughs> Well, <laughs> we waited two weeks and we both got to play our decks. Yeah. <laughs> Round two, everyone. All right. Well, maybe this will be the quickest ever pre launch showcase. It's possible. <laughs> the I mean, bar it is, is, it is high in not existent for the shortest. <laughs> yeah. um, but, uh, yeah, it, we're going to take a quick break and when we come back, uh, Graham and I will fight to the death and then play Magic the Gathering. So <laughs> stick around for that. Nice. Um, bye. There's still a commander game. That's yeah, true. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. a commander game later yeah. on. That will probably take six or seven hours. There we go. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, somebody will decline to Please wrath make on turn four. <laughs> yeah, we're attacking with our elvish mystics. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. All right, see you shortly. 
Hello and welcome back to my shirt is crooked. Hello and welcome back to the Outlaws of Thunder Junction pre-launch showcase. We are here on the Loading Ready Run Mega Entertainment Network and we are showing you Draft. We are play showing you Sealed. I guess we already did that. And later we're going to be showing you Commander. But right now we got Draft. Draft. So Graham and Cameron, we saw them drafting a little bit of their decks earlier. Mm -hmm. So we know that Cameron is in blue, black, green. Yes. Kind of. And Graham is in... The same. Hey, at least we were across the pod from each other. That that's, means we signaled correctly. That's how that works. Honestly, our signaling, impeccable. So, hey, thank you so much for supporting us here. And thank you so much for Wizards uh, for sending us the products. I think we're ready to get going. Yeah. Let's roll. Let's do it. Cameron, you won right. the die roll. I did win the die roll. Great. I would like to play this swamp and say go. Okie dokie. I'm going to start with this Conduit Pylons. What did you call me? Uh, exactly. Absolute Pylons. Uh, this is what Ral's been doing. Hmm. Ral's been setting up an interplanar communication network, and I will surveil. Um, and I will... Uh, I will put this forest in the graveyard. Go ahead. It's like, um, yeah, with the Conduit Pylons, uh, Ravnica is moments away from discovering information theory. <laughs> uh, Island, I would like to play this Silver Deputy. When it enters the battlefield, I may search my library for a basic land card or a desert card. Reveal it, shuffle it, and put it on top. It's one of these. And also, it has an ability to tap to gain, or to give something plus one, plus zero oh until end of turn, mm. but only as a sorcery. And it's a may, but I see that you are. Yes. Cool. Um... I find this festering glutch. <clears throat> Gross. Very nice. What did you call me? <laughs> you heard me. Chat, clip it. Uh, basic land card. Or desert. Or desert. Or desert? Yeah. Turns out it's Dang. very good. Oh, that's so good. And that goes on top? Yes. Swamp. I will draw. And I will play this forest. Ah, it's all coming <laughs> together. Okay. It's okay. It's only turn two. I'm I fine. would like to put this swamp into play. Mm -hmm. I will cast this Bandit's Hall. Whenever you commit a crime, put a loop counter on Bandit's Hall. This ability triggers only once each turn. Nice. I may tap to add one mana of any color, and I may pay two and tap to remove two loop counters from Bandit's Hall and draw a card. I attack you with Silver Deputy. I take one. We're developing. We're developing. Go. Draw. Oh, that's handy, actually. Uh, all right, I will play a swamp. Mm -hmm. And... Sure, why not? It's Fraska, the okay. silencer. 3-3 uh, three, three death touch, and whenever a non-token creature an opponent controls dies, I can pay one, and if I do, return that card to the battlefield tapped under my control, but it's a treasure. Ooh. Okay. Uh, like it loses all of its other types. Though I guess maybe it's still ETBs? It does, doesn't it? It would, I guess. Return it to the battlefield tapped. Yeah. It loses Marshall, all its other types. Marshall Wheeler here. Oh, what's up? Uh, it does. Cool. You still get ETBs, you still get static abilities. It's got all of those abilities. Neat. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. I would like to play this or put this Festering Gulch into play. Mm-hmm, I take one. You do. Uh, then I'll tap this for Puce mana. Oh, actually, by taking one from I get gulch, a crime. That, that you, you, I committed a crime. You have, done, you have done me a crime. Then I will cast Consuming Ashes on Vraska the Silencer. Exile target creature, if it had mana value three or less, surveil two. Brutal, yep, all right. Well, Vraska is exiled, and I you will get surveil. surveil two. I'll put this island into my graveyard cool. and keep that on top. Uh, then I will attack for one with I'll Silver Deputy. One. Somebody in chat was saying that Cam just did a crime. Cam did two crimes. Yeah, Cam did two crimes. That ability triggers only once each turn. No! <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I draw for turn. Do you think there's a blackboard at Wizards of the Coast in R&D that says where there's like only once each turn 
written on top, like the NASA chalkboards yeah. that say <laughs> tough and competent. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Uh, three mana for a patient naturalist, which is, you know... That's what I'm being right now. I'm being patient. We're developing mana. Uh, I mill three, and then I can put a land from among those cards into my hand, and if I can't, I get a treasure token. So I'm milling this giant beaver, uh, a hard bristle bandit, and a swamp. And I don't get to choose. Uh, it's if I can't. So I mm. put this swamp into my hand. All right. And uh, I will play a land for the turn. This swamp that was in my hand. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Shocking. Ahoy. Um, I would like to play this Lush Oasis. I take one. You have crimed. I have crimed. I will crime again by going, and maybe. <laughs> um, go. After all. Is that where you're going? Yes. Go? Draw. It's a lush oasis, <clears throat> you see. I get it. Thank you. Forest. Uh, Do you uh, think they were ever on the same bill? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, EOT. Uh-oh. I would like to cast... This town ain't big enough. Um, uh -huh. Targeting my silver deputy and your patient naturalist. They will return them to their owner's hands. Oh, wow. Cool. This is a crime. Yeah. That only costs you two mana. It does. You're correct. Absolutely. That's very cool. Um, then at the end of turn, yeah. I would like to remove two counters from my bandit's hall to draw a card. That's awesome. Do it. I'm doing things. I'll draw for the turn. Good heavens. Um... I would like to place this festering gulch into play. Wow, you got... This is where all the deserts went. Mm -hmm. It is. Spe specifically the ones in these colors. Fixing, Graham. Yeah. Fixing. Um, so you've crimed again. I have crimed again. That bandit's hall's paying off. Um, I would like to... I'm glad that we're finally here to slow things down in the draft. Silver Deputy, what, once what? more. Yeah. Um, How many deserts you still got in there? One. You should get it then. I failed to find. All right. Um. Hmm. Go. Draw. Island, which, as we all know, is land. Um. Well, there's that. I think what we're gonna do, for fun, is this. What are the chances Cameron has counter magic? I guess we'll find out. Uh, Mind Slaver. Uh oh. <laughs> that is a crime. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it will be. Uh, go. Uh, EOT. I would like to remove two loot counters from yep. my bandits hall to draw a card. Cool. Okay. I'll untap. I'll draw a card for the turn. I will. Hmm. Put a forest into play. I will... Hmm. And that thing takes over my turn, right? Yes. It's you control target player during that player's next turn. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Um, I attack with Silver Deputy. Yeah, take one. The Silver Deputy is going all the way. Um, body massage machine, go. Untap, upkeep, draw. Holy moly. Every, right. every year we, go, we grow closer to my ultimate goal of being in an old folks home and having a bunch of people saying, body massage machine, <laughs> go! go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, As we're just administered various antipsychotics. Yeah. Three mana for another patient naturalist. Sorry, go ahead. Because we can't stop quoting, um, uh, God, E Bombs World videos from yeah. 2003. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they think we're hallucinating. <laughs> Maybe we are. Uh, I mill three, which is a forest, 
and a Soured Springs, mm -hmm. and a Rush of Dread. Okay. Which is a spree card that kills a bunch of stuff, uh, and that just lives in the graveyard. I have to put a land in my hand, so I'll take this Desert. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, I mean, there's no time like the present, so I will activate Mind Slaver. Um, okay. And that's my turn? Yep. Okay. Tar uh, tar targeting Cameron. End of turn. I would like to cast... Abrupt Decay, targeting the Patient Naturalist. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, that is a crime. <laughs> Foul. All right, well, do you want the, do you want the seat? Uh, oh, I can actually, oh, yeah. that's, a, that's a fun idea. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. doop doo boo Hey, uh, should I just like <laughs> lean over your shoulder and I'm like, you can play the four on the three. I was gonna actually ask Marshall Wheeler, when you're when when you're controlling someone's deck like this, does Cameron get to know during this turn the card that I draw? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cameron is still the player. All right. Cool. However, you are controlling. So Cam. let's see what we got in hand here. Peerless Rope Master, uh, Swamp Desert's Dew. Target creature gets minus two minus two. Okay, that's cool. That's a neat one. Uh, and I guess I'll, I'll I'll draw for the turn. It's an island. Well, that's cool. We're going to play neither of these lands. Um, hey, Judge Wheeler here, real quick. Uh, did the life totals get reset? No. Oh, oh, oh they must have won the... Oh, I, I, I thought I was being cute. It's going to reset again, then, when I take away Oh, because you swapped. Oh, swap oh, names. Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't swap anything. I literally just add a question mark to the end of Cam's name. Right, we'll, we'll put Cameron a Jira Mark. ticket in. Yeah. I blame just, Paul. Just submit a Jira ticket. Um... Okay, I think I have a pretty fun line here. Uh, so I'm going to... Fun for who? For me. I'm going to pay five, play Peerless Rope Master, and return up to one target tapped creature to its owner's hand. So I will... Uh... Oh, I can't actually pay for ever all the horrible things. That's fine. Um... Moo hoo ha ha. No, this is okay, actually. I'll return the Silver Deputy to my hand. Um, then I'm going to pay for Desert's Dew to give this creature minus five, minus five. Because I control three deserts. So I'll kill the Rope Master with the Desert's Dew. None of these are crimes, because it's all being done to myself. Uh, and then, weirdly, I am going to play a land. I'll play this island. And I'm going to play this Deputy and uh, put a land on top of your deck. Yeah. Oh, Oko was on the bottom of the deck. Holy crap. Can that if you could shuffle that. Sorry, Judge uh, Marshall Wheeler here. Yeah, what's uh, up? Was that deputy untapped or tapped? No, the, the deputy was tapped. Okay. Yeah. It Ow. can tap to itself. You tap to target itself? No, Cameron hit me. Then but I But it would have untapped. Yeah. What? Sorry, what's... You, I don't, you I control don't... my turn. Yeah. I untap at the beginning of your turn. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Day. You um, untap okay. at the beginning of my turn. Right, yes, so, of course. So, I forgot to untap yes. that. That's yeah. true. Okay, I tap it to its, I can tap it to itself to activate its ability Great. then. Okay, yeah. so yeah. that just, yeah, that gets that out of the way. Yeah, yeah. It's, I forgot about that. Good yeah, call, no good call, good call. We're all good. Uh, I believe it's going to get reset anyways, but Graham is going to be at 14 after this. Man, you and got some messed up cards in here. While we're here, the final judge call is uh, that Lush and Oasis actually played together at the Phoenix Festival in Stratford-Upton-Avon, which was a, an event to promote Amnesty International. Hey, good for them. Neat. Man, uh, I, I really envy and admire Oasis, because can you imagine hating someone so much that you won't even, like, show up <laughs> on a stage with them for, like, a grillion dollars? Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Well, it's not a grillion dollars, but, you know, we make North 100 Showdown work. <laughs> <laughs> like Liam and the other one could put a curtain between them on stage. <laughs> the other one. It didn't work for um, Fleetwood Mac. I don't see why it would work for Oasis. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm an idiot. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. I just realized I could have done something way, 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 way cooler. Well, I mean, you still ate Cameron's entire hand. Yeah, no, it was fine. All right, I'm going to untap. Uh, not way, 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 way cooler. I just could have, it's fine. I'm gonna draw for the turn. 
All right, Swamp. I shouldn't have put a land on top of Cameron's deck. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> X is... Five. Five. All right. <laughs> I shouldn't have put land on top. It's fine. Uh-oh. Cool. Courier Strix. Yep. Um... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what Oko does. And Karavek? Dang. All right. All right. Well, Mind Slaver, then Villainous Wealth. I'm, yeah. Dang, I shouldn't have put that land and on And then Oko. Yeah. Wow, that was pretty bananas. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, was, that was a crime. Yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed when we were watching the uh, draft video how uh, Wheeler and Adam went on an extended diatribe about how nice of a, cr a guy Graham was as he's talking about drafting all of these horrible crimes. Yep. <laughs> I thought that was a very good juxtaposition in editing, Kathleen. Great job. Great I mean, job. that reminds me of the one time that I actually tried to get into the, uh, oh God, was it the PTQ at GP Vancouver? The, there was like, you know, the actual event, the main event, the ranked one at a Magic Fest. And in round one, it was Modern Masters 2. Uh, I had that zombie rogue, the legendary one, that whenever, it, or uh, sorry, the zombie ninja that whenever it hits your opponent, oh. you know, you gaunty them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was playing my round one opponent, and he played his own, hit me, and revealed mine. No. And he just went, oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and got coffee. It was nice, actually. Oh, yeah, it was, it was a very clarifying moment <laughs> for the day, right? Where you're just like, well, this certainly isn't going to get any better. <laughs> Fallen Shinobi, that was it. Uh, Triforce Drummer says that Cameron committed a lot of smaller crimes, but Graham committed two very big crimes. Yeah, exactly. Mind Slaver and Villainous Wealth, both crimes. Mm -hmm. you, were, you were quite behind. Yeah. He had been hit by a one, two, five times. <laughs> he had also removed a couple of like things, and like you were starting to really, you had drawn a lot of cards. Yeah, yeah, it was feeling all right. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep this. I'll keep this. Well, no, I'm... wait, hold on. No, oh. I can't actually keep this. Cam will not keep that. No keeping allowed. I mean, your keeping is allowed. Good, thank you. I would like to. It has cards that are castable. I think it's important that everybody check in and make sure that everybody's like meeting each other's boundaries and that you know there's clear communication about what's being kept and what's not. I mm -hmm. think you know consent is king. Yep. <sighs> it was just one of those situations where you look at your hand and you're like, these spells are all incredible, awesome. Wait, Wait something's missing. <laughs> something's missing. Need some land to cast these spells, I assume. TXC2 uh, says what Graham did is the kind of thing that gets its own true crime podcast. <laughs> It is afternoon in Victoria, British Columbia. Yeah, I'll put this back. And I'll car, keep this. Car noise goes by. Diegetic audio or whatever. <laughs> a scream rings out from a second story office. Ah! Island, go. All right. Uh, I will draw, and I will make the same opening I did last time, which is these absolute pylons. Mm. Uh, and I will surveil. <clears throat> Nah. Go ahead. I draw a card. I play this lush oasis. <gasps> Take one. I've been crimed. Say go. Right. Forest. And I will play this raucous entertainer. There are two two plant bard. And for one and tap, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control that entered the battlefield this turn. Ooh. Good golly. Which seems, okay. I'm, this, this deck is not one to take advantage of that. Because uh, I don't I mean, think I'm going to have more than one creature enter, but that's a very potentially powerful ability. Go ahead. I agree. I would like to cast this Silver Deputy. <gasps> I will find. Mm, this is probably the kind of t uh, board state that you can turn it, take a turn off against, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what we. <laughs> that, that was a lot of last game. Was just like you and me both, like. Ramping and getting, like, getting lands in play. Hmm. Uh, and then Villainous Wealth. It's true. Mindslaver Villainous Wealth, as it turns out, is a potent one-two punch. Yeah. Not even a combo, just I, like, uh, kaboomed. I reiterate that this is not sponsored. 
I predict I'm going to be playing a lot of this set. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to draft. It, yeah, like it, it's got some cool cards in it. Judge so, Wheeler is just nodding enthusiastically. Marshall from... Wheeler here. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, is it your turn? Yeah. I kind of want to say just keep me on the fam jam for the entire day. Same, right? Yeah. <laughs> Swamp. Uh, I mean, I guess I should attack before I do this, but whatever. Um, a good dog. Sterling Hound. It's a 3 2 artifact dog. And when he enters the battlefield, surveil two. So I will surveil two. Um, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Um, We're talking about the great flavor text here, which says, "Beware of Cog," which is kind of dumb and fun. Boo. <laughs> Boo. I, would, I would also like to point out that nobody from Loading Ready Run worked creative text on this set. There's so many wonderful, <laughs> hilarious, super talented creative text writers. A lot out of people there. have been asking us, in what I'm going to say is an accusatory tone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, we'll let you know if we wrote flavor text. I take two. All right. In fact, I feel like it's fairly like obvious if so, if someone's self-indulgent hand has been behind the pen. Yeah. But... Kaping. Ah, Jay McUnyielding was on this set. Oh, excellent. There you go. Nice. Congratulations, Jay um, I would like to cast Seize the Secrets. It costs oh, one less nice. to cast if you've committed a crime this turn. I have, and I will draw two cards. That's so good. I got to say... Uh, mm. I am, with your, uh, thank you, with our history, Kathleen, you and I, in actual newspaper, university newspaper, but with, you yeah. know, uh, I am a little sad that we don't get to contribute to uh, all the... The newspaper set? The, the, the headlines on the breaking news sets mm -hmm. is very cool. So I think it's very fun that I was, I, I put, pitched a bunch of newspaper-themed flavor text for murders at Karlov Manor. Manor. For the dossier treatments, right? For and for all sorts of cards. A bunch like, of stuff, yeah. Yeah. So I think I wonder what they thought when I was submitting this. And they went, oh, if only you knew. I'd like to beep and boop at the same time. I have been beeped and or booped all for right. five. And Cameron takes five. And I could develop board, but instead I will develop land. And I'm going to tap four to map the frontier. Uh, search my library for up to two basic lands and or deserts, put them onto the battlefield tapped, and shuffle. That's All great. Right. And I know that one of them is on top. Haha. -ha. Because I saw that with the surveil and was like, no, if I bin this, then I don't get it. Concerning. Um, yeah. So we'll put, we'll get that one, and I will also get this other desert, the Mirage Mesa. Okay. And I will nominate blue. All right. Get that splash color. Why not? One ton, no villainous wealth. Go. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, and you take one from Scoured Springs. S I sour do. Soured. Soured springs. These springs are so sour. Troubling. Um. Map, comma, the frontier is my favorite commander. Deep Muck Desperado. What it's a homerid. Wouldn't you call me? Excuse me? Yeah. It's a homerid. There's a homerid? That's so great. There are two four. Whenever you commit a crime, each opponent mills three cards. This ability triggers only once each turn. Sad face. Would you like some sick Homerid trivia? Well, yes. I would love some Homerid <clears throat> trivia. Always, Homerid facts. I Subscribe believe, Homerid facts. Homerid facts. I believe this Homerid is the first time on a magic card that a Homerid is actually quoted as speaking. Holy moly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've been horning in on my turf. How about I introduce you to some surf? That's I, very maybe, silly. Maybe it was for the best. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just like punsters. I forgot yeah. to, yeah, that's the other thing is that uh, you wouldn't know it from previous sets, but all homrids, when they talk, they sound like jackasses. <laughs> uh, swang. I take one. Go. He has been won. Who among you? Who amongst you has been won? Uh, swamp. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Um, four mana. Giant beaver. 
And then I will pay for my raucous entertainer to put a counter on giant beaver. Okay. <gasps> Go. Untap. Draw. Um. Island is land. Beavers live in water courses. Why are they? Why is he eating a cactus? <laughs> Look, times are tough. This is, this is for beaver support, I think. We need more beaver. Now I'm going to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, keep going. No. Have they yet printed a legendary beaver? Hold Not it. yet. Hold, hold your jokes. Uh, Bandit's Hall? Yeah. Um, go. Forest. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay. So, just to do the thing that the set would like you to do. Um, my hound is going to saddle this beaver. Repulsive. Because uh, it's three power. So the hound is three power, the beaver has saddle three. Let's put this in the card reader again. Uh, and then I will move to combat. Okay. And I will attack with this 5-5 five, five beaver, which has vigilance. Attack trigger. If it attacks while saddled, then I put a counter on a creature that saddled it. Okay. Um... I would like to respond. Yeah. This town ain't big enough. Um, it costs three less to cast. That actually only casts two. Mm-hmm. Um, targeting the beaver and the silver deputy. Fair. Um, mill three cards, please. Oh, because you've crimed me. And the bandit's hall increments. All right. I mill ambush gigapede. What? An hmm? Yeah. Ambush gigapede. Uh, ankle biter. What's up? Keep going. Okay, and a forest. Ooh. So the card that it costs three less to cast if it targets something that you control. Yeah, which he yes. did. Because it bounces two creatures, so ah. my creature and his creature. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. Well, let's do that then. Uh, I'm going to replay... El Beaver Gigante and show off another mechanic. Uh, I have a plot. It's this railway brawler. Good heavens. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's going to go live over in the plot, plot zone here. And next turn I can play it for free. Go. Okay. Forest. Um. I watch Railway Brawler for the plot. So big. I cast Silver Deputy. Oh, hey. This guy. This guy has been through a lot these past two games. It's true. Um, well, no time like the present, I guess. Love to hear it. Oko? Oh, hey. Okay. I would okay. like to make an elk, please. We and have May that. I have a die? Yeah, what color? Do you, uh, do you care? Follow your heart. Well, that's optimistic. <laughs> Two. Thank you. By the way, show the elk token off. The antlers are pretty impressive. Nope, no tokens. Okay. Hmm. Other tokens I thought showed up. What's Oko's static ability? Because I don't remember. Uh, at the beginning of combat on your turn, Oko the ringleader becomes a copy of up to one target creature you control until end of turn, except he has hexproof. Oh. Okay. Indeed. Um, all right, go. Swamp. Um, I will play this railway brawler because you can just do that. Plot's weird. Um, and then... X is six. Okay. <laughs> you can't. You can't get your Oko this time. That's true. Owl. Oh, and the Sphinx too. Lotus Ring <laughs> Island and Forest. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, well, this comes in because of the railway brawler. Uh -huh. The bird comes in as a 2 2, and the sphinx comes in as a 6 8. <laughs> because of the way that this creature is. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> That's a uh, lotus ring. What the heck? It I, has a bunch of other texts on it, but I feel the relevant ones are the ones that say plus three, plus three, and vigilance. Yeah, dang. I saw this in, during the draft, but I don't remember. Uh, yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm not going to stop you from conceding uh, if you yeah. wish to do that. Uh, you just got, what, 13 power on the board? Uh, yep. Uh, I mean, yeah, we can play it out. All right. Are these exiled or in my graveyard or? Uh, exiled. Okay. Railway Brawler is so stupid. What a messed up card. I mean, Villainous Wealth is the real problem here, but Railway Brawler is not. Not a problem. Not, not a problem. Did you, uh, Marshall Wheeler here, did you select a target for your bird? Uh, no, I haven't yet. What um, does it do? It taps a permanent. So I will tap your Deep Muck Desperado. Okay. Marshall Wheeler here. You have a Surveilled Trigger. I do. I've committed a crime. So, Harrier, this enters and taps a thing, uh, which in this case has done a crime. And because I have done a crime, this surveils two. Nice deck, Cameron. <laughs> yeah, honestly, these are very cool. Uh, I'll put that forest in the bin and uh, do that. Leave those there. Uh, I will. Marshall Wheeler here. Uh, uh, that was that was. I believe you surveilled three when you were supposed to surveil two. Oh yeah, you're right. I totally did. Uh, what, how do you, how does one resolve that? Uh, this is looking at extra cards. Yeah. Normally, but this is a PPR, so I'm just going to say it's a match loss. <laughs> Um, Do I just shuffle and surveil again? I think because you looked at the cards, you, I mean, for this, what is it? You take the three, you take the three cards that you would have seen, yep. you randomize them, you put, one gets randomized, put back into your deck, and then you can surveil for the other two, rather than shuffling all of them away. Okay. I believe that's how you're supposed to resolve this, but it has been a solid decade, so let's do that. Okay. Um, yeah. Pick one of these. This okay, one. So this one goes into the deck. Into the deck. Into the deck. Randomized. Assuming you don't know the order of anything in your deck. No, I don't. Great. Yeah. Instead of giving you, I believe the reasoning behind this is that you don't want to give a person an opportunity to potentially just they see three bad cards and they're like, I don't want these. Right. That makes sense. Okay. Ta-da. Okay. Um, that can't attack, these can't attack. Uh, so I will, excuse me. Um, these two will saddle up. <laughs> this owl and cactus man are gonna mm -hmm. climb aboard the beaver mm -hmm. and the beaver beaver's gonna attack for four and I'll put a counter on, yeah, I'm gonna choose to put it on the, no, no it's only one of the creatures yeah. and I choose the cactus man. I'll double block? Uh, yeah, I will, um, oh, yeah. Uh, that deputy lives another day. I'll kill right. the elk. All right, go for it. <sighs> I play a Mirage Mesa for black. Um, Lone Shark. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, uh, uh, actually, hold on. In response to Lone Shark, I cast Tyrant Scorn, targeting the Sphinx, uh, uh, returning it to my hand. Ooh, yeah. Does it have Ward Judge too? Oh, yes, yeah. thank you. It has Ward too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> you know, I can't believe I'm saying this. Uh huh. Uh huh. But I wish they made Oko a bit better. 
<laughs> this this particular this Oko? particular Oko. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah. I I think that we've all witnessed some crimes happening here today. Mm-hmm. I'm a guilty guilty man. But the draft was pretty fun. It yeah. was actually. Yeah, no, um, there were some cool cards. Yeah, I'm looking forward to <laughs> next Wednesday for the streamer early access event on Arena. We're doing a fam jam uh, all day long. Oh, there it is. Nice, James. Uh, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific, we're going to be streaming it live on Twitch and on the Loading Ready Run YouTube channel. And then the video after the fact will be on the Loading Ready Run MTG YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be playing, there's like six or seven of us are just going to be cycling out over the course of the day for, when's your estimated wrap-up time, James? Uh, I think it's in the schedule from 10 to 7. Sweet. Oh, nice. Yeah. All hey. day. Drafting, what's up? Speaking of things that are nice and that are all day entertainment, this pre-launch showcase we're doing right now. Because if you're watching live, stay tuned. Coming up in a few minutes, we have uh, Commander. But before that, we're going to show you Graham doing a crack-a-pack. So you can see what cracking a pack of uh, Thunder Junction is like for yourself. And if you're watching on YouTube, well, you can great. You can find those videos elsewhere on this yeah, channel. Just go on the somewhere in the sidebar, probably, unless you're in theater mode, and then maybe you have to look down. It doesn't matter. Go find those videos if you want to see that crack a pack and us playing Commander. To be clear, that's YouTube. If you're not watching live, if you're watching live on YouTube. Yes. Then you still don't get to see the videos before that happens. Stick around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We'll do anything. We like well, to really support our viewers, but we won't break causality. That's a promise. <laughs> I'm, I've tried. They won't let me. No. But, uh, hey, I hope everybody's had a great time watching these very fun games of draft. Format seems fast, powerful, <laughs> exciting. And uh, stick around. We'll be right back with way more Outlaws of Thunder Junction action after this very short break. Bye, everybody.